What is your relationship status? Are you talking to anyone? I think I'll be quite honest about it. Um, I am... Five, four, three, two, one. I am the generous queen! Ask Miss Ellen. What's up, YouTube and all that inhabited? I am Daquan, the generous king, and you are YouTube and all that inhabited. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing small, and if you are feeling me, hit that notification bell because we get lit over here. Y'all, as you can tell by the title, today I will be doing a get to know me tag, a little tag Q and A here and there, back and forth. Yeah. Um, the way I went about this was like I went on my Instagram and I posted on my story and told people to leave me questions. I also went and Googled some questions. So it's a mixture of both of questions that I found and picked and questions from people that I picked on Instagram. And if you would like to follow me on all social media at DaquanR underscore, I will post all my links in the description. Before we get into this video, make sure you go and click that like button and subscribe if you would like to stick around with me. And, you know, just leave me a comment. You know, go on my channel. Check out my old little videos. Um, I post a lot of videos last week. If you want to, you know, stick around, see what the content is about, go go and look. Because, like I said, we be getting lit. And if you want to get lit, then you need to stick around. I thought it was important to do this video because I was coming back with videos. And as many times as I've posted videos on my channel, I've never done a video for y'all to actually get to know me. I just always go in swinging, which is good because it's like I have the ideas of stuff to do, but I've never actually sat down, you know, gave y'all some questions, gave y'all insight on who the kid, the generous king, who the kid is. So today, I'm giving y'all that. The first question is, where did I grow up? I am from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I have lived in West Philadelphia all of my life. Um, it's not where I want to continue to live the rest of my life. We'll get into that later. What year was I born? I was born in 1997. I am a 90s baby. Um, that whole decade's probably produced some of the best and worst people that we have ever um, seen. Um, but it was also like a great decade of like music and you know fashion and those are things that I'm really proud of. People try to knock and say like you know you're not a real 90s baby if you weren't born between 1990 and 95. I don't get anything like that. But yeah, 1997, 22, I will be 23 in September and I am a Virgo. Best gang out there. What is my favorite drink? My favorite drink is actually water. Um, it might be very basic to some people and it was also something that growing up my mom thought I was weird for because you know kids go to restaurants and you ask them what they want and they're just like I want juice and I've always just been like I want water like it is something about cold water and I know I have like f friends that are nurses that say you're not supposed to drink cold water because it throws your body into shock but cold water like ice cold water is like amazing and all my water lovers out there y'all know that when people try to tell you all water tastes the same no it don't what was my dream job as a kid so as a kid i wanted to do everything like and i think like most kids like at one point i wanted to be a doctor which we know ain't happening i was a doctor on halloween last year that was a little cute um that's about as close to a um a degree a medical degree i'm gonna get um I wanted to be a cop at one point and my mom told me no. I wanted to be a cop and a firefighter and she told me no because I wasn't um, risking my life. Um, ooh, the main, I did want to sing. Y'all know I can't sing a lick though, but I did want to sing. And, you know, in the back of my mind sometimes, I'm still thinking about pursuing it. Can I talk to you? Comfort you? Let you know I care for you. What are your career goals? So, um, for everyone knows, like, I am a senior um, at Newman University, currently right now. Um, in about a couple weeks, I will be finished my last semester, and I would obtain my degree, which would be in communication. Um, I've always somewhat somehow wanted to be in entertainment um that's the only thing that really interests me is being able to bring happiness or some type of enjoyment to people's lives so my goal initially going into college was just wanted to be like a tv anchor which 
I necessarily, it's not that I don't want to do that anymore, but I ended up doing a radio show, which made me fall in love with the radio. So I want to do, I just want to be all around a television personality host, a person that hosts like red carpets, you know, have a talk show. If I got to hit up a reality show or two, I'm fine. As long as somewhere at some way I'm building my brand always with just, you know, within the field of being able to entertain people. Who was my role model? Um, I feel like the cliche answer is like, would be my parents, which you know my parents do, are role models for me. And I don't wanna offend anyone. That's for people who their parents are their role models. So if they're not, I'm sorry. Um, it's just my life and that's all I can talk about. Um, but I get really inspired by people who really like come from nothing. And I'm not saying they have to come from horrible backgrounds, but come from nothing and make a way from themselves and just aspire to be really great. So I love hearing stories like that and not that I can necessarily, you know, um, relate all the time, but I just really find stuff like that really inspirational and inspiring. And it just, it makes you want to go out and, you know, create yourself a great destiny. Where do I see myself in 10 years? In 10 years, I am manifesting and I am claiming that if I am not at least a millionaire, I will be a multi-millionaire. I am claiming that and I'm manifesting that. Um, within the next 10 years, I just want to be able to be completely happy. I want to be completely happy in my career. Um, as well as having, you know, multiple forms of income to be able to, you know, care for myself as well as care for my family and just all the desires and things that I want. So I see myself, you know, very successful um, and very much happy. Very happy. What is my favorite food? So everyone that knows me knows my favorite food is spaghetti. Like, I don't know what it is. I've just always loved spaghetti. But then it's like, not just that, I love pizza, but it has to be a certain type of pizza from certain places because sometimes, if I use places ain't cutting it. Um, I love wings, like buffalo wings. Um, my favorite is like sweet chili wings, but I love me some wings. Um, wing gang, come if you wing gang. Um, wings and um, fried rice. Love the fried rice. I can eat fried rice all the time. Fried rice, fried rice. Who is my favorite person? My favorite person is my dad um i tell people this all the time like i don't know um he's just always been very supportive of me and everything that i've wanted to do just regardless of anything has always been there for me and not that um my mom isn't because both of my parents are very actively in my life but i always say like you often see cases where dads aren't in people's lives and then um you know, I didn't have to be a person that was blessed enough to have that. Um, that that's I really count that as one of my biggest blessings, and I really appreciate him for that, for being the man that he is and being the father that he is to me, because it's a lot of people don't have that, and I don't take that for granted. And um, yeah, I just really love him for that. What is my favorite color? So, my favorite colors are black and gold, um, it's just something about black that I just love. Um, when I go out and in my phones, like everything has to be black. My friends are always telling me like, you need to stop wearing black. I don't know what it is. I, I black is just like great to me. And then gold, when I just think of gold, I just think of money. So I just, you know, black, gold, they both like great things to me and I, I love it. What is my favorite scent? My favorite scent would be lavender. Um, it's just very relaxing. Like, if people don't think lavender, you, you trying to be, like, actually relaxed and fall asleep real quick, go get you some lavender, put it in your pillow, because that's what I did when I was at school. I had this lavender pouch in my pillow. I knocked in seconds. Um, my sophomore year of school, I had a, um, what are those things called? Um, a mattress topper so that the mattress would be comfortable, and it was a, it was lavender scented. I laid in that bed and told you two seconds. I was if you want to be sleep in two seconds and also have a great scent and be relaxed and be zen, get you some lavender. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? 
Um, so if I could change one thing about myself, it would be the fact that I am a very big overthinker. I overthink a lot of situations um, with everything and it, it, you know, overthinking stuff can cause you to be like really stressed about a lot of stuff and stressing about stuff before it even happens. And living like that sometimes, it, it's like, it, it's a lot. So if I could definitely change one thing, it would be that. Now the rest of the stuff, I feel like I'm perfect. So I ain't changing nothing else. But that we will be changing or attempting to change. I have been working on it better. I'm still, it's still a little, uh, but I am working on um, getting better at that. But I think it's just based off the fact that I don't, um, it, you know, just stuff be happening. So I feel like you need to open things to like be safe about it. But you can't live your life like that, like I said. So yeah, I'm working on that. If you could move anywhere in the world, would it be? Okay, so my best goal destination for right now to either move to is um, New York or Atlanta. Um, I just feel like I know for sure to advance my career to be where I want it to be, I have to get out of Philadelphia. And um, those are two of the places that I'm looking into um, and having goals of moving to as of right now. What do people love about you? So I think that people really love the fact that um, once you get past the initial surface of me, <laughs> because some people meet me and they're just like, you know, I'm a Virgo. I have to scope situations out with people. So yeah. But once you get past that initial surface with me, um, I'm very open. I'm very energetic. I'm, I'm really a big goofball. I love to make people laugh. Um, and I think people just love the fact that I bring a gr great energy about me. Um, I'm a very loyal person to my friends. I'm loyal to a fault sometimes. But we'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> but I'm a very loyal person to my friends. Um, and I know that they love that to anybody I'm really close with. You know, people are able to come to talk to me about anything. And I'm here for them, genuinely. Because, you know, like I said, I want to make sure people are... You know, good. I want to make sure everybody great. And they own a good, they own a work, they good stuff. What is one thing that people hate about you? So, I would think that one thing people hate about me is, like, I'm very headstrong on, like, my opinion in certain situations. It's like, so, if you bring something up to me and I feel a certain type of way about it, you could bring me everything in the world. You could bring me, be sending, having conversations, like sending screenshots, getting other people's feelings on stuff and others and sending me whatever you need to send me to feel like you need to back your evidence up to try to give me a change. And I'm not, um, I'm very headstrong and I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, and that's with like decisions too. Like if I decide that I don't want to go somewhere, like there's nothing in your, in my mind that you can do to convince me to change it to go like I'm you can't do that to me I'm just not like that <laughs> and um I know people are leaving about me but it's fine what is my favorite movie so my favorite movie is Scream 3 and it's, it's weird because I'm the type of person that I am um Scream 3 I for, for one I think it's like hilarious I laugh at like certain horror movies and certain things sometimes that aren't supposed to be funny but yeah um but I like movies, like when movies have sequels and stuff, I seem to like them, like I seem to like the sequels better than the original sometimes, depending on what it is. Like with the Friday movies, I like, my favorite movie is Next Friday. Um, I can't think of any more because I'm out of right now, but it's, it's like weird. Um, another one of my favorite movies is The Players Club. Um, yeah, I really enjoy that. Um, Think Like a Man, I think is a really great movie. Um, the first one. In that case, I really do like the first one. I don't think the second one is bad, but I like the first one better. Um, yeah, those are just a few that I really like and I really enjoy. What are some of your best characteristics? Um, I would say that my best characteristics are, you know, I'm very honest, I'm very open, um, I'm relatable, um, I'm very confident in myself and my abilities. Um, I don't get like, I believe that everyone has like their own like little insecurities about themselves, but um, I'm not like another person can't make me insecure about myself. I'm very secure in myself and um, my abilities of everything that I'm going to do and what I want to do and um, very confident in how I look and yeah. So those are some things, I'm honest. Um, honesty, 
um, the openness, um, the confidence, um, and I'm a little crazy, but I believe that everybody's a little crazy, and the fact that I acknowledge that is good. Not like crazy, like, ugh, like psycho, but like, you know, I'm just, I'm very, I'm, I'm very, like, creatively crazy. I'm very creative. I'm always thinking of new ideas of ways to, you know, to, um, better myself and help my friends better themselves and, um, you know, inspire, be inspired, stuff like that. How many tattoos do you have? Oh, so anybody that knows, um, I love tattoos. I think they are great, especially when they're done professionally and done nice. Um, I have six, um, and I do plan on getting more. The, the thing that I love about my tattoos though, as I'm sitting right here right now, none of you can see that I have tattoos and that's the thing. Everything that I have, um, it's in, and I, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I, my nose is pierced. But yeah, I have six tattoos. Um, I love them. They all have some type of meaning behind them. I really stand big on that, like having tattoos that not that anybody else has to. What you do in your life is different. Um, and what I will do in mine is with mine. Um, every tattoo I have has some type of meaning behind it. And um, I love them. They were all great meanings in my life. And yeah, I just plan on getting more. What is my favorite cereal? My favorite cereal is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, there's nothing above it. I don't know. Um, there's other cereals, of course, I like. Um, Golden Grahams, Frosted Flakes, um, Reese's Puff, um, you know, certain things just depending on the mood. But I can never go wrong and can never get enough of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I have an obsession with it. Um, I've always had. Oh, Frosted Flakes, too. I forgot to name them. And Honey Nut Cheerios, I like those, too. But Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I don't know. Nothing's above it. Top, um, top two, and, ain't, and it ain't number two. It ain't. Just like me. Top two, and I ain't number two. <laughs> but, no, yeah. Love it. Love it. What is my favorite musical genre? Um, I love R&B music. Um, it is what I've grown up on. Um... I've just always been a big fan of R&B music. Everyone that knows me knows. Um, I've loved Beyonce since I was two. My mama will tell you that. Um, K. Michelle, Kimberly Michelle Pate. That is my dog. Um, my dog. I love her. No, ever since I was in um, eighth grade, so 14, um, I've loved her ever since her first scene on Love & Hip Hop. And since then, I've been sold. Um, so people like them and when it comes to like hip-hop I love Nicki Minaj I love Onika um can't tell me that she's not the queen I love other artists um in between that though um like Tamar Braxton um of course people like Usher Chris Brown um Megan Thee Stallion so somewhere between R&B and hip-hop but more so R&B um yeah, I be in my feelings a lot. <laughs> and the final question that has come about is, what is your relationship status? Are you talking to anyone? Um, that is a great question. That is a great question. Um, I think it's lovely. Um, wow, that's, that's a great question. I wasn't expecting that question. Um, and I think I'll be quite honest about it. Um, I am very much single. <laughs> I am 100% single. Um, I just feel like I'm 22. I'm a senior in college. Um, not that it has anything to do with anything, because people, you know, choose to do what they want to do. But, um, yeah, um, I'm about to start building my life and experience my life. And, um... If something comes along the way while I'm doing that, great. If not, I'm not stressing it. So yeah, I'm 100% single. Um, I have friends. Yeah, I think everyone has friends. Um, so yeah, I have friends, but yeah, I'm single. But that concludes my 21 question. Get to know me tag, um, Q and A. Um, if you like this video and you want me to do it again, put likes up, um, comment. You know, leave some comments if you want me to do it again. Leave a comment if you just like the video. Because, you know, I told y'all I was coming back. And I told y'all I was coming with the video. Um, so, yeah. Just leave me a comment. Like, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Mm -mm.